Hi, welcome to Mates and Tricks and today we are going to talk about secant method. Well, secant is a line that joins two points on a curve. In this case, we have two initial points x0 and x1. Find the function on these points, join the two points on the function curve and extend the line down where it cross the x-axis and mark this point as x2. This is the first iteration. And the second iteration join point x1 on the function curve and x2. We get second iteration mark this point on abscissa is x3. Now draw another line that joins x3 on the function and x2. We get x4 on the x-axis. Find again function on x4. Proceeding in this way, you're getting closer to your target point. Now let's consider an example e raised to the power x minus 3x square. For instance, this is any function of x. The range of x is from 0 to 1 for root 1 and for second root the range is from 3 to 5. The sequence formula, this is very important to remember x subset n plus 1 equal to x subset n minus f of x n n2 x n minus x n minus 1 over f of x n minus f of x n minus 1. To write the function in calculator with two different initial points, we will replace the recent most value with the symbol x in calculator. So in the first iteration, to find x2, this will be equal to x1 minus f of x1 into x1 minus x0 over f of x1 minus f of x0. So for calculator, replace x0 with y and x1 with x. x0 equal to 0, x1 equal to 1. Now to find x2, write the equation in your calculator as shown. Press Kelsey, it asks for value of x, enter x1, which is 1. For y, enter x0, which is 0. We get 0 0.7802027. For the second iteration, go back to your equation, press Kelsey, enter uns for x, the recent value x2. And for y, enter 1. We get 0.90286673. To find x4, press Kelsey, enter x3, which is stored as an ounce, and x2 in the place of y. 0.78020272. We get x4 equal to. 0 0.9106234 and to find x5 press Kelsey enter ounce the recent value which is x4 and enter x3 for y which is 0 0.90286673 we get 0 0.91000496001 Similarly defined for xx. Now to find the actual roots, type your function in calculator, press shift, then Kelsey to solve it, enter 1, 
we get 0 0.910075725 for the first range and for the second range press scale C and enter 5 because 5 value is close to this root we get 3.733079029 and now see the difference between actual values and iterative values thanks for watching